So we're currently uh, designing and manufacturing a, a wheelchair support for um, an anterior support for a wheelchair user here at St. Lillian's who suffers from cerebral palsy. Um, this support will develop the neck and back extensor muscles, um, which can help with posture, breathing issues, scoliosis, and things like that. Yeah, so we have it kind of broken down into four subsystems. The first one is the torso attachment. This is where the student's actually going to lean into. This is going to be the main point of contact. Um, and this attaches to, this is also a knee displacer, which keeps your knees at a safe distance apart. And this kind of routes into some more, uh, some more telescoping tubes at the bottom of the wheelchair, which is permanently attached. Um, and then finally we have the lower back pad, which is going to be put behind her back, putting her at a safe distance to be able to lean into this pretty comfortably. Yes, yeah, so right now we're using electromyography, also known as EMG testing, and this quantifies muscle activations um, in any muscle group. So right now we're hooking it up to Emerson's back to see how much it activates her muscles in our support versus when she's sitting normally to really validate if our support actually does the goal, which is to help build her back muscles. It's awesome. Um, we've been working with Emerson and uh, St. Louis Academy to build something that's going to increase her quality of life and um, you know we haven't been able to really do something like that throughout our engineering schooling and stuff it's mainly now we get to apply a lot of the stuff we've learned <laughs>